Did you guys remember how it started? My first memory was actually before we got our first office. Yeah. So it was 3 p.m. at Tuck and Co. Um, I went to visit you one day and Jack walked in mm -hmm. in a blue suit. I guess that's the first time you guys started talking to me about the original idea of Air Wallex. What about you, CJ? How did it all click? Jack made a call and uh, so excited to say, yeah, I got a new idea right. and uh, this will work. And uh, then he, he talked about the, what are the problem you guys are actually facing right, right now. And uh, he, he, he wanted to do something, especially around the FX, like foreign exchange thing. Yeah. And uh, I was saying, who is your partner? And uh, Jack said, uh, Max. And uh, yeah, that's how it uh, actually started. It was a small world. So Jack approached and said, oh, I have this wonderful, beautiful idea. And he described the problem. He pointed to a direction from which we can start a journey. And so I said, yes, okay, let's do it. Coffee, if you think about it, is um, some plantation on the other side of the world. Starting this company is almost like a similar journey in which you partner these ingredients and people and dreams from different parts of the world and we mix them in a very passionate way to create this drink of coffee that we're having right now. Now you have to understand what's in the beans. And generally when you buy a beans, they actually give you a recipe and the more accurate that you're doing that, the, the, the more consistent you're going to get out of the process. The, the flavor changes every day, and the, the amount of oxygen in the coffee changes every day. As, you know, it, it goes like over two weeks, you can't really drink it anymore. So, you, you know, like you drink a lot of beans that over two weeks, I mean, that's not, <laughs> that's not the, supposed to be the, the, the way of drinking coffee. You know, a lot of offices actually have instant coffee machines, whereas we still stuck with a proper special machine. And, and you know, some, I remember once I asked Jack, you know, he said, you know, but we want people to connect over something. And the pantry, the coffee is something that um, brings people together. And I still try to make a few lattes for people every day. Every coffee shop has its own recipe. Depends on where the fruit is grown, how they grow it, and the humidity is growing, and also how you roast it, how you blend it. It's a very complicated recipe, you know. Try to create a flavor they actually, you know, customer enjoy drinking. A bit more sophisticated than making a cocktail, because the, the, the craftsmanship actually can uh, impact the, the result. Because making coffee is it, it's about doing you know, three cups in a minute uh, and doing it in a high consistent way. That's not easy. Long black. Why? Because it tastes so natural. Without the milk, you, you actually taste the nature of the, the whole coffee. Yeah. We hope everyone in the Airworks can show their nature and create an impact and uh, make contribution in the whole company and the whole world. I think we are like a cold drip. And it's because we spent so many years building the foundation and the infrastructure and for a while we don't really see a lot of results. Yeah. It's kind of like the cold drip in the very beginning. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. But over time, you build something that's meaningful and it's flavorful and, um, you know, like a latte, right? Wine's sitting there for like 10 minutes and it's starting already to look a bit funny. Yeah. But whereas a cold coffee, you can enjoy it for a really, really long time. My favorite coffee drink is something that is more familiar in the south, in the Cantonese area. It's called Yuan Yang. 
Yuan Yang is this mythical uh, phoenix birds. They always come uh, as a couple. Mm -hmm. um, the idea of the Yuan Yang is that it's, it's a mix of coffee and tea, and it's not a simplistic, um, pure drink by bringing elements from different parts of the world, literally, and combining them to form a story. And I found there's something really um, relevant of that drink. You start with mixing people together, mixing ideas together, um, east, west, whatever, and then you form this new idea, a new identity. And I found that really relevant to what Air Wallace is.